My family was Buddhist, but they were materialistic, basically atheistic. Nobody talked about God. Nobody. When I came to this country, United States, I was actually emptying my heart, so I was searching around, and uh, I got into yoga, uh, Buddhism, the Sankhya philosophy, New Age, you name it. I was just searching through everything, but I, I never got satisfied, you know, it was just uh, it was something was still missing. Of course, I came from you know, a different country and I couldn't do the good speech, so I was just flipping through the channel on TV and my eyes got caught by the great speakers and they were Christian channels. You know, they were like a televangelist, I, I guess. So I was just taking notes. All right, you, you look at the people, you know, repeat at least three times, take pause. You know, so I was taking notes for my speech class. Then I, I did long enough, I guess, the message actually came to, into my heart and sunk in somehow, somewhere. Then I met my uh, good friend, Brad Tridel. Our wives ended up working together at uh, a local company. My wife is Japanese, and of course, both Matt and his wife are from Japan as well. So we had a lot in common. It was a Saturday night, we had nothing to do, and so we said, well, why don't you all come over to our house and we'll watch a movie and get some pizza and it was the start of a great lifelong relationship. You know, I, I saw something in him, something I, I can't really, you know, grasp what it was, but the, I wanted to know what he has. And um, then I found out he was Christian. Anyone who knows Matt knows he's an extremely intelligent man, loves to know, you know, the truth about something. And I enjoy those kinds of conversations as well. Matt enjoyed knowing that there is an intellectual side to Christianity. And I was an atheist at the time, so I was very harsh on the spiritual stuff, you know. But he was very gentle and never negated what I said. He was just, he said, I understand that. I encouraged Matt to look for the truth, to look for the facts, to read for himself. Uh, he kept telling me that, you know, truth will set you free. But, you know, I, I couldn't find what the truth was. I just realized that it's the faith for Jesus that made him confident and uh, strong. And all through my exploration, that's what was missing. He took me to church and I felt the tug in my heart when they had the uh, altar call. And I looked at my wife, oh man, I, I, yeah, this is kind of awkward, but I really want to go. My wife is looking at, looking at me like, Hey, Matt, what are you doing? <laughs> but I had I stood up and just went to the altar call right there, and then I gave my heart to Christ. God is truth. Uh, and if you're seeking truth, I believe you will find God. I, I give everything to God, and God gives me peace every time. The truth literally set me free, and I, I, I found what I was looking for.